What's up everyone, welcome back to the Warzone video on the channel. Today we're looking at something a little bit new. We're going to be talking about how you guys can start dropping your first, you know, 15 kill games, 20 kill games if you guys are trying to improve at Warzone. Now guys, the tips I'm going to tell you guys today are going to be some different tips that not a lot of people actually, you know, touch up on. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, how do you actually drop high kill games in Warzone? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't actually have to be, you know, the craziest, most cracked player in the world just to drop a 20 bomb. Okay, 20s, you know, even 15 kill games are kind of easy once you get the hang of a little system that I'll be teaching you guys in today's video. But with that being said, guys, before we actually get to the tips and all that stuff, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to drop a like on the video, okay? Subscribe if you're new and post notifications so you guys don't miss any more videos like this on the channel because we're dropping bangers every day. With that being said, guys, let's go straight into the first tips. All right, guys, now the first thing I want to talk about, all right, very first thing we'll talk about is your hot spot drops all right guys on rebirth island specifically i'm not going to be talking about verdance that much but today's video in rebirth island there are many different places that you can drop at that actually have a lot of people that are there now i know a lot of you guys already know this but control center is actually one of the control center is one of the hottest drops in rebirth and honestly most of the time i go there there is at least five teams landing there now, having a hot job is very important when you get it, you know, when you're trying to get a high kill game. It's not mandatory. You can technically land somewhere else, grab some loot, and then push other hot spots after that. But usually, if you were to push a hot spot after, you know, they've already fought, then you're not going to get as many kills as you could get if you actually just land there fresh. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want to kind of play it the more safer route by, you know, landing somewhere safer, grabbing a loadout with your boys, and then pushing Control Center, you guys can. But I guarantee you guys that there's not actually going to be that many people at Control Center versus how many there could have been if you actually just landed there. So the early game of, you know, Warzone is very, very important. You know, going, landing Control Center picking up some weapons and trying to pretty much just eliminate as many players as possible. And obviously guys, you already know you do not actually need your loadout in order to get kills. So you should just find as much ground as you can and wipe out anybody that's near you. All right guys, so with that being said, uh, another thing I actually wanna talk up or touch up on is rotations, okay? So uh, let's just say, you know, you went to control center, you wiped all of control center and you come up with a pretty decent amount of kills. After you do that, obviously you can't just stay at control center because there's probably not gonna be anyone else there for a while. So you wanna start moving and rotating around the map to actually, you know, find people. So usually when I go to control center, there are two areas I actually go from there. I either go to tents or living quarters, as many of you or most of you guys may know it, and uh, or either go to prison. Now, prison is one another huge hot spot when it comes to the game. And honestly, prison is kind of one of those places that are always gonna have players in it no matter what. There is very rare moments in the game that, you know, there are no players at prison. So uh, you guys can kind of always play around prison. And it's ideal to actually stay in the middle of the map because you actually have the closest range to each part of the map, if that makes any sense. So let's just say you're at prison and you pop a UAV and there's a bunch of guys at Nova. Well, guess what? You're already at prison, so you don't have to, you know, go super far. Nova is just actually right down the street. And you could even float off of prison roof straight to Nova within like, you know, 10 seconds and immediately get back into the fight. Nova 6, as I just said, is another hot spot that you guys could encounter, you know, quite a bit of teams there. And Nova 6 is actually great for playing against multiple teams because there are so many staircases, so many different levels, and a lot of room to actually outplay a lot of your opponents. But yeah, guys, I'm, you know, I just want to touch up real quick on that, guys. Rotation is very important. Uh, you know, you can either land Prison, Control Center, or Nova 6. Those are my best three places I like to land. Living Quarters and Headquarters are great as well. But uh, if you actually go to prison, the te tip, you know, technically you can actually just loot prison and then go push headquarters, or you can loot, you know, prison and go push Nova, and not really have too much of an issue when it comes to rotating. It should take you like I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds to actually rotate all the way there. So therefore, you have, you know, you kind of have quicker rotations if that makes any sense. All right, guys. Now with the second part I want to talk about in today's video, it has to do with lobbies. Okay, now. A lot of you guys already say, a lot of you guys say my videos, okay, oh, you know, duper, you had a bot lobby, blah, blah, blah. Okay, listen, listen. Yes, that may be true that sometimes I do get bot lobbies. Obviously, you're not going to get bot lobbies all the time. But sometimes you're going to get sweaty lobbies that just stay up. And honestly, that's what it's all about. It's about the health of the lobby. If the lobby is actually getting fried super, super fast and everybody's dying super fast, then obviously you're not going to be able to actually get a 20 bomb. So in order to do that, what you want to make sure you do is when you kill three people or if you kill, you know, one person, you want to make sure you're looking at your UAV to actually see how many people are left on their team. 
For those of you that don't know, whenever you kill someone in Rebirth Island, it's going to ping all of their teammates that are not currently ghosted. So therefore, if you actually see only one red dot radiating around, meaning that there's only one person left on that team, do not kill that last person until their teammate spawns back. You can probably, you know, count in your head to 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds if you really want to be sure, just to make sure you don't wipe that team. Because trust me, wiping teams is a huge, huge bad play when it comes to actually dropping bangers. I know a lot of times that I was absolutely fragging out, but I only got to around 17, 18 kills because I pretty much just wiped the entire lobby. I've had around six team wipes that game and it was just non-stop me wiping, which was my fault. That was in the beginning when I actually, you know, before I was actually dropping 30s uh, and 25 kill games. So I learned a lot from that. And I tell you right now, that is going to, you know, take you guys very, very far when it comes to just dropping high kills in general. So guys, make sure you guys keep the lobby up. If you're playing with some teammates that you know, make sure you tell them the same thing. Make sure you're giving comms to your teammates saying, oh wait, don't kill him. That's the last guy. You don't want to wipe this guy in accident. Because if you do, trust me, it's going to kind of bite you in the butt later. But hey, it's always practice. You know, it's always another game you can play and you will eventually get back into another good lobby. And for those of you that don't already know, yes, it is pretty much impossible to drop a high kill game in a very sweaty lobby. Uh, you know, we are, as you know, as a person that's trying to drop bangers, we are typically looking for lobbies that are very body or, you know, somewhat decent, okay? You know, a lot of people say, oh, you can't play against sweats, so you won't drop bangers. Guys, I literally have videos of me dropping 25 kill games on a 1.2 KD lobby, okay? It's not impossible. It is definitely hard, I will say. But it's not impossible, okay? So don't, don't use that as your own excuse. All right, guys, now moving on to the other step i want to touch up on today this is gonna to have to go with game sense okay guys now game sense is very important it's actually we're touching upon this on the last step but this step you actually want to make sure that you're looking at your uav you want to pop uavs a lot you want to make sure you constantly have intel on how many players are in your game and where they are around the map so as you guys can see right here in this play i killed that guy and i can see that all his teammates are right there on the roof of nova 6 which is why i'm automatically centered right there uh, having plays like that and just knowing where people are is super, super important when it comes to, you know, just overall getting kills in general. You know, it's going to allow you to pretty much have first shot on the majority of your enemies. If you guys don't know how to VA UAV already, I do have a video in the description. I'm going to link for it. If you guys want to learn how to video UAV the right way, it's going to give you guys all the information you guys need. And if there's any questions you guys have about that, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. But to just give you guys a quick summary of what we touched up on, the first tip I gave was talking about your hotspot and obviously where you guys should drop. Uh, you know, that being Control Center, Prison, or Nova 6, in my opinion, are the best places to land. But you guys can land other places like Bioweapons, uh, even Living Quarters, and Headquarters. Those are all great places to land as well. You may not get as many kills as the other places, but hey, they still work. You know, if you can pull, you know, three, maybe four kills in your beginning game, that's actually huge towards getting 20 kill games. The second thing I talked about is obviously where you guys need to go after you land at your hotspot and after you've obviously wiped all the players there because you cannot stay there the entire time. And I recommend, you know, rotating to the next most popular places. Obviously, it's going to vary depending on what game you're in. Uh, you know, if you guys are obviously using a UAV, then you will see autom automatically just like where everyone's at. And then last but not least, we were talking about how you guys can use your in-game intel to make your gunfights easier and pretty much know exactly where everyone's at. Uh, that is being, you know, whenever you kill someone, you get live pings on their entire team using UAVs, giving comms to your teammates. And last but not least, we were also talking about, you know, how you guys need to make sure the lobby stays healthy by not wiping any teams. Because guys, that is probably one of the biggest, okay, the absolute biggest problems when it comes to people dropping gameplays they just keep team wiping and it just eventually just destroys the lobby you guys can technically get around like 10 kills off of one team if you're really good at farming them so if you want to drop 30 kills you technically can get 30 kills off just three teams i know it might sound crazy but it's just reality i've done it so many times in videos that i'm just farming the exact same people over and over again hey guys with that being said that is all i have for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and post notifications if you guys feel like i missed anything into this video let me know in the comment section below so i can try to clear it up and with that being said peace love and understanding always i will see you guys in the next one